hi guys what is up welcome back to my channel i am so freaking excited to film today's video we finally got the house all decorated for christmas and it's time for a christmas home tour if you guys haven't seen our decorating videos i'll have them all linked down below for you guys to watch in case you're interested in like the behind the scenes of decorating and putting the tree up but i do just want to disclose this video and say that while a lot of people on YouTube go above and beyond with their decorating and I absolutely love watching those videos, we try and keep it a bit more minimal around here and we are on a budget. I feel like not a lot of these home tours talk about being on a budget and you know, I'm just recently post-grad paying off student loans, working a nine to five and so we kept our Christmas decor quite minimal but what's minimal for me might be a lot for you and vice versa so please, please, please take it with a grain of salt. Um, how I decorate is not how you have to decorate and I just want to put a little disclaimer in there. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to go out and spend tons of money on Christmas decorations and decor and whatnot. Um, please, please, please don't feel like you have to. I just want to share my home with you guys people reach out on instagram and say they love the more simple decor so i wanted to show you guys kind of like my farmhouse modern christmas decor on a budget and yeah i'm really excited um i'm trying to think of things to tell you guys before we get into it that i've learned from my fall home tour but um we don't decorate our bedroom it's just something that we just didn't really feel like spending the money on to buy like pillows and stuff to decorate our bedroom since we're not really in it uh, we have a two bedroom townhouse we have like a two-story townhouse attached home um, we rent and yeah let's just get into it I will try and link as much as I can down below but most of the stuff I get is from like Marshall's HomeSense Michael's so a lot of it is hard to link but I will try my absolute hardest and let's get into it is so like I said we live in a townhouse that's like our salt tub but this is our mat I just got it locally made I will leave her shop down below and then we just got this little under mat from Amazon and we still have a lot of leaves, so it's not very pretty. But we just have this sign, which I also got locally made. I think it's so cute and unique, and it has a little bow on it. So I will link that below as well. We just have a really nice wreath. Can you guys tell I love buffalo plaid? And that is from Walmart. And let's get in. So if you've never seen our house before, I'll give you guys like a quick overview. Over here, we just have our little dining room. Mega Christmas vibes in three, two, one. Like right there, stop that. That is like a Hallmark Christmas movie photo. And then over here, I'm trying not to show you guys where we live, um, our couch. So I guess we'll start over here. Sell those toys and stuff, that's not Christmas. And then this is our couch. It pulls out, we get questions about it all the time. It is from Structube. And then this bad boy, you might remember from my fall home tour. I'm just gonna show you guys a little secret. Still love this pillow too much. I tried to put it away twice and she grabbed it both times. So we leave this out and she sleeps on it, but I figured if I flipped it around, it was kind of like Christmassy. And also you'll notice we went way more minimal um, than fall kind of with the couch. I just don't know what it is. I love when people have like Christmas pillows and throw blankets and stuff, but honestly we live in a small townhouse. Like there's not many more pillows that we need. So we just kept it super minimal. And then if you walk over here, we just have a little cute side table from Amazon and our matching coffee table is also from Amazon. Um, and Hi, are you watching mommy film the Christmas home tour? Are you sad because I won't let you play in the fire? Anyways, it was so hard to decorate this year. I just like couldn't figure out what I wanted, but this is our little kind of nook. I wanted to make it a little Christmassy. So this sign is for Michael's and then this little flocked tree is from home scent so just like a little Christmassy corner and then we have our google home and then all of our coasters and then if you flip around we have our coffee table that just has this like little thing which i think is cute this was also really hard to style just because it is like a deep tray um but i just have this little home which you can get a lot of places like indigo target um and it actually lights up it's up which is super cute um so i got that at Home Sense, as well as this little tree. The little tree is actually from Home Sense. I filmed it, but um, this candle is as well. And this smells so good. Please go and try and find this at your local Home Sense or Marshalls. We're literally almost done burning it because it smells so good. Um, so that's kind of what's on that tray there. And then Stella, her bed is from Pup Naps. She has a little avocado toast toy. And then this is probably my favorite part of the house, which is our fireplace. 
I've never had a real fireplace to like hang stockings by, so this is like the most exciting part about Christmas for me. And yeah, so we have a real fireplace, and then this is just a pillow from Indigo. It's actually a pillow from when I was at home. I flipped it over so it was just plain, and it's there. And then I really love this. I ended up getting the throw blanket. It's from Walmart. It was like $20, um, and I just thought it kind of looked cute in this little basket. We weren't using the basket, so I was like, let's try and make this really cozy. Um, our stockings are from um, Superstore. They're just initial ones for Matt, Stella, and Carter. And then we have the garland here. These are Matt's little space things that we couldn't take down. Um, our stocking holders, I really wanted plain ones. I just didn't vibe with like the giant snowflakes and reindeer. So these are just from Walmart. And then our garland is also from Walmart. It is not pre-lit. We actually just bought some fairy lights and put them in there because it was a lot cheaper to do it that way. And then our little welcome sign is from Michael's and this does light up and I think it's so cute and I don't know. I really just think it goes together well. Cutie little small Christmas tree. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. I, I, I clearly didn't realize what four foot meant. Um, so we're definitely going to have a bigger tree next year. But for now, it, it will make do. It's fine. Um, I mean, we definitely have the space for a big Christmas tree. So we'll see. I, I, I keep thinking I really might. If there's a sale on Black Friday, I might get a bigger one. But it works for now. It does the job. Um, this is just like a galvanized little tree skirt. But obviously, like, our tree's really tiny. Um, but we actually have it raised up because it's so small you can't see it. We, it's just, like, sitting on a board game. And this is from Michael's. This is from the dollar store. And then we just have, like, an assortment pack of ornaments from Michael's. And then we just have, like, a few ornaments. So this one is from the Disney store because we can be in Disney. And then we have two little first home ones. So we have this one, which we got on a little road trip. And then this one, which we got off of Etsy um, custom made. So that's that. Our tree toppers from the dollar store. And... That's our cute little Christmas tree. I do love it though. I, I do really think it's cute. And then over here, you guys can tell I just like love Buffalo Plaid this year. Um, this is a runner from Walmart. And then this little cutie took so much work to get right. If you guys saw my Christmas decorate with me, this tray is from Marshalls. I feel like all of our stuff is from Marshalls or Home Sense. And then we just have a little candle. Um, and then this vase and the ornaments are actually from the dollar store I just think it's really really cute and like unique and then this tree is from home sense And I think it's just like a cute little unique centerpiece We're awkward the lights just died on this, but that's okay. Um, these two little trees are from home sense as well I just like love the buffalo plaid so cute This sign is from michaels and then <laughs> if you guys don't know matt my boyfriend is really into space Um, so I found this little like astronaut santa and so he's here um, he doesn't necessarily like, go with the theme, but I think it's a cute little like touch of what makes us us, you know, like our personalities. And then I got this little truck from Walmart. It's got like a little wreath, and I just really love this. I really love it. It's probably like one of my favorite parts of the house. Um, and then Stella, of course, has a little buffalo plaid mat. This is actually like a dish um, drying mat because she is so messy with her water. So I just have that there. Right to the right is our bathroom, which is pretty simple um we didn't do two just i literally am wearing pajamas um but over here we just have a plant and then this is a fall candle but i'm not wasting it we're still using it and then i just have a little christmasy hand soap and then i really like to keep the bathroom minimal like i said i'm really all about like minimal decor um so this is from i want to say the farmer's market somewhere local and then this little tree is actually from walmart it was like a dollar 97 and i just think it looks so cute and like minimal and then we just have like you know our painting and stuff room is definitely very minimal and then we have the stairs so the living room and stuff is here bathroom is here and then our kitchen which once again our kitchen is also very minimal we have our stove which is probably the most christmasy part home up there that's from loblaws the rest is from walmart and then these are just also from I want to say Marshalls and just like a little touch of red, you know, like a little touch of Christmas. Just have a little Christmas countdown in the corner that's from Michaels. I just think it's like a cute little touch of Christmas. I don't like our kitchen to be too cluttered, so it's pretty empty. Here's just our coffee bar, and we didn't do too too much with it. I just bought this little thing from Michaels. I just thought it was kind of like a cute little touch of Christmas. Um, and it actually holds a lot of pods, which is great. We have all of the Christmas ones right. So. That's that. And then I actually have this wreath that I got the other day from Sprigs and Twigs. They're local, but I haven't decided where to put it yet. So I have that, but I just don't know where to put it. It's going to be like an indoor wreath. I just have no idea where to put it yet. 
but that's that so that's kind of like an overview of the kitchen and the extent of our Christmas decor and if we go upstairs like I said we didn't do any decorating in our bedroom but there are some little touches of Christmas so bedroom which I'm not showing you guys this is our main bathroom a little vlog of me organizing the bathroom a week or so ago and I just cleaned it up a little it's a lot more minimal now which I like and then I have this it's actually from the dollar store I think it's so cute and then we just have like a candle hidden behind it you know if you, you have a little bathroom break and you need a candle it's there um, but that's kind of like the extent of our bathroom decor just very minimal the way I like it this is my office this is what it currently looks like it's a little messy Stella's got her bed and her crate in here. She also has a little Santa blanket. She's festive as well, but not too, too much Christmas in here. I actually prefer a very minimal desk, but there's like a little cut. My phone, my phone stand, my personal computer, my work computer. For a second, my planner and stuff. And then this is the corner. I've been looking for these like leaves forever and I actually found them in like the forest near our house the other day. So that's that. People ask me about my vase all the time. It's a kombucha jar. And then I don't have a Christmas candle in here, but I have this Mary on it. And this is from Michael. So just like a little touch of Christmas in my office, but I really, really like it. So that's kind of like the extent of our home tour. I can't believe it's already over. I hope you guys enjoyed the little home tour. I hope it wasn't like disappointing. I always feel like when I put these like holiday home tours up that people are going to be disappointed at how minimal we decorated but that's actually one of the things that I love and I feel like that is unique is that we just don't go above and beyond with decorations if that makes sense and while I do love people that do and I love watching this video so much I just like to keep our house very minimal just because it is on the smaller side but if you guys enjoy know down below what your favorite part of our Christmas home decor was or our Christmas home tour I would love to hear give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy subscribe if you're not already because I'm always decorating and upgrading things in the house and doing home decor and stuff it's like a little passion project of mine so I hope you guys would consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys next time bye